Hello, Scorpio. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, this is Catherine of the Twin Flame Mystique 1111, now to Spirit Tarot. So, uh, I am going to pull a couple of cards, and they are going to be for your crowning energy, okay? That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to pull a couple of cards that are going to tell me where your, where your mindful in it your mindfulness is now okay and I was a little tongue twisted there because Scorpio I know whenever uh, you know you're thinking things through or whenever something has you know set you back a bit um, you know you're gonna be a little quiet in your discernment right but I'll tell you what after this new moon being in this Pisces season being in your element I know you've got some things to say. So, all right. So, I'm going to start by pulling this. A couple of cards here. Okay. All right. So, here we have Ace of Winter. Okay. And these, this is blue and the color blue, uh, which is associated with the throat chakra. I speak a lot about chakras. I'm a... Um, the color blue of the throat chakra indicates that there are some blockages in the throat uh, in your ability to say what you mean and mean what you say. Okay? It's an energetic block, right? You heal it through healing your perception of what you are wanting to say and why you are wanting to say it. Okay? So now this card right here the Ace of Winter, is about not being deterred by challenges that may be coming up your way. Because it's important to communicate clearly and accurately, right? And also because there's new ideas. There's new ideas that are needing to be implemented, okay? This tells me that some of us are having to get back to school, all right? either in a literal sense, you know, if you're doing some continuing education, okay. So, you know, uh, take it with a grain of salt. This is knowledge that is your wealth and can never be taken from you, ever, okay? And then there are others of you that are on this spiritual path, on this journey of enlightenment, that uh, in our surrender to spirit, uh, for our purpose in this human experience, um, we are being guided and led to, you know, uh, different healing modalities and different methods of motivation, right, for moving forward for our clarity, okay? All right, and here's the next card, and it's number 10. It's the wheel, okay? And this color is the indigo. Uh, color, which is uh, associated with your third eye chakra, okay? So this is having to do with your clarity, okay? So already, these two cards right here are already clarifying each other, all right? So you're on the right path. You're on the right path, Scorpio, okay? So now, uh, with this card, the 10, right, which means that the 10 uh, symbolizes the Alpha and the Omega. It symbolizes the beginning you know, the beginning after an ending, okay? You're moving forward with the wheel. You're moving forward. But where are you going to allow that wheel to take you, right? That's your path. That's your journey. And you get to know that through your inner healing, okay? At the same time, with this card being the beginning to an ending, this card says that delays are over. They're over, okay? Uh, there are sudden and unexpected blessings that are coming your way too. But you have to uh, be open, your flow, okay? You see this card of that winding road there, right? Your flow uh, has to be open, right, in order to receive, okay? 
Now, at the same time, this is saying that some of y'all are planning a trip, planning some travel, or uh, having some dealings with your with a vehicle. Either you're getting a new car, or you're having issues with, um, you know, a current uh, mode of transportation. But don't worry, right? Because that's an energy. So if you put that out there, you're going to get more that you need to worry about. And Scorpio, we know you can be really good about making yourself sick and worrying over things that are, first of all, not becoming of you, not your vibrational match, okay? Because you're here about, you know, let's get this show on the road. I've got some uh, relaxing to do on my heaven on earth. But it's not going to get here without you uh, needing to know how to get there right and your wheel okay that wheel is will take you there that will be your transportation so all right that's already an excellent message this is already a very very good reading so all right what i'm going to do now is let me go ahead and get the uh ascended masters let's see what your ascended masters as your guides okay are wanting you to know let's see what message they have and and helping uh, continuing to clarify these cards for you, okay? All right, so let's call it Ascended Masters. What do you have for Scorpio? All right, some food for thought, some food for the soul here. All right, got more. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, sounds good. So I'm going, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Scorpio, I am in this energy, and I tell you what, I'm Scorpio rising, so I can relate. <laughs> I can relate. So, first is, all right, so whenever it comes to these challenges, right, that are coming along the way, right here, and, and where you're being uh, guided to know that it's important to have clear communication, right, is to, first of all, you need to let go. Okay, this is Kuan Yin. You ask her to come in. She's going to come in like a tornado and remove from you all that is no longer a vibrational match to you. Things that you are using as a crutch for yourself, honey, and I, you know, and that's not becoming of you either. You got to let things go. Your past is your past. You can't do anything about it, but learn from it, right? And if it was something that was, you know, that made you feel uncomfortable, it was discomforting, then it's not for you. It's not yours. Leave it there. It's just a lesson. It is just a lesson. Okay? That's the most important thing. All right? You need to stop holding on to, you know, to things that they're done. They're done. And stop trying to relive them and going back to them. Okay? Because again, if you can't let go of old things, nothing new can come in. And that's all on you. That's not on anybody else. It's all on you. And that's another uh, message from Spirit on knowing what's yours and what's not. Right? We have to stop being in everybody else's business or trying to control something that isn't even ours. Because control is an illusion. Okay? It's the narcissist's way. And I sure hope that that's not your way. Because you have some blessings that have been, they've been waiting to come in. Okay, look. You're in the 10. You're in the beginning of an end. Okay, they've been waiting to come in. But that's on you. You want them to come in? Let go of all that are the garbage. Okay, make peace with it. Make peace with it. Thank you, but no thank you. And keep moving forward kindly. Kindly and mindfully. Okay? All right. Now, to further clarify this wheel here, that the delays are over and you have all this, this good luck that's coming, all these blessings, right? Now, with letting go... It takes some healing. Okay? It takes some introspection. It takes some healing. And you do that by retreating into nature. 
all right? This is saying that you're needing to uh, adopt some um, healing modalities that have to do with grounding, right? That have to do with grounding. When you ground, you are, you are willfully, right, giving whatever troubles you to Mother Earth to transmute, to heal, right? So that your energy can come back healed and rid of the past and able to move forward. And your energy will come back in a higher vibration. And a higher vibration is attracting to you what's meant for you on your path. Which is all good. If you're thinking good. If you're loving yourself good. Right? There's a consequence to everything. To everything, good or bad. Okay? So, alright. From here, I'm going to, let's pull some uh, Romance Angels Romance angel cards, okay? All right, so let's ask your romance angels what you're needing to know about love and your energy, okay? Let's see. Spirit angels, what are you needing to tell Scorpio about loving themselves? Okay. Yep. Yep, absolutely. All right. Now I am a physical channel, so I am, you know, getting all burpy in the throat and feeling some discomfort there. And to me, that that tells me that there is a lot of throat chakra work that needs to be done. Okay? And that's also linked to your heart chakra. So you can't say what you mean or mean what you say until you've healed your self-love. All right, and here's the first message from your romance angels. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I'm going to say as you um, forgive your past. Okay, because in your past, knowing this, knowing your past, okay, and healing and forgiving, then that brings you to an enlightened consciousness, okay? Where you are waking up from your subconscious mind that's programmed through your social conditioning, okay? And this is where you have to have compassion for yourself and forgive yourself first. You can't forgive anybody until you forgive yourself first. And in enlightenment, forgiveness means compassion. Compassion for what you did not know. It's not about blame. Compassion for what the others don't know. Because not everybody is here meant to wake up in this particular human experience. And we can't kick them like a dog that's down for not doing that, for not waking up. Okay, this is your responsibility as a light worker and working in the light. This is your responsibility. Is your compassion for those that are here in your human experience not waking up from their social conditioning to know the truth, to have inner healing, to have a peace of mind and a peace of heart for the greater, for the greater picture, for the greater reason for unity consciousness, okay? So in your compassion, you offer peace, love, and light. That's your forgiveness, right? You thank them for, for choosing not to be woke in this lifetime for you. 
And that's how you see your past now. It's a timeless message. So whenever you hear this message is when you are meant to in your divine time and when you are meant to hear this message. So everything from an hour ago, yesterday, two weeks ago, all of that is now your past life. Okay. And it's time for you now to be the, the spiritual advisor through your past experiences, through your past life. Now you're knowing what works, what doesn't work, and why. Right? Now it's time for you to teach. Okay? That's how you heal not just family issues, all your issues. Okay? You see them as, all right, what is it that I'm needing to learn here? Learn to help heal my heart and to continue on my path of seeing this human experience, right, as an opportunity to help elevate unity consciousness because this is, this is your sole purpose here because you're our star seed. That is your sole source purpose. What you teach of your experiences through compassion helps you be the bridge to unity consciousness. Do you get that? Now your second card is saying, you deserve love, you are lovable. Yes, absolutely. It's love, it's unconditional love that made you and brought you here. That's what your soul source is. That's what that spark of divinity, the God in you, did for you. So of course you deserve love. But you have to love yourself first, right? You've got to demonstrate that first because it is an energy. It's an energy. And wherever your mindfulness, wherever your energy is, is what you're going to attract more of. Do you get that too? That's the most important part of that message, right? Wherever your mindfulness, wherever your energy is, that is is what you are going to have more of. All right? If you are thinking in lack, I don't have, I don't this, I don't that, I don't have it, I'm not have, I'm not, you're going to get more situations and more of that to prove what your energy is in lack. You get that? So, from here on, what, what do you have to say to get yourself out of that, right? In your affirmations, in your meditations, your throat chakra work right here where you need to be communicating clearly, right? You say, I am, right? I am lovable. I am unconditional love, right? I am healed. I let go, right? Because saying those things keeps you in the present, okay? In your mind, then your mindfulness is not wandering around all over the place. It's more focused. It's more focused. I am says it is already here. It's already here. Everything that you can possibly dream of or think of is already in existence. It has no reason but to because it, your thoughts are an energy. And energy is always creating. 
It is always creating. You understand that? So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, pull a couple of cards from the Life Purpose Oracle deck. Okay, Doreen Virtue. All right, Spirit, what are you needing for Scorpio to know? Of their life purpose, of their soul mission here. Okay. Okay. That's right. That's right. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. So, Scorpio. Now, the retreat to nature, okay? Now, this card tells you that you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and animals, all right? Now, the Spirit is wanting to elaborate on that. So, in other words, um... You're here to demonstrate the relationship between your soul purpose and the healing connection of the planet. Okay? We are connected. We are connected like, like my goodness, you don't know. So... If those of y'all that follow the Schumann Resonance, it is the heartbeat of the planet. And it offers the, it is a frequency, right? It's the frequencies of the planet um, that are the base frequency of the Schumann Resonance of the planet is the same frequency of the heart chakra in our, in our energy center, you know, our heart chakra, our energy center. It is the same frequency. What does that tell you? This is why one of the most important healing modalities uh, that nature offers us is the grounding technique, right? To transmute and to heal our energy through the planet. Your next card, honey, is study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. I'm going to say not just your career, but, you know, your life purpose is your career. There you go. The Spirit just clarified that for me. <laughs> it is your career, honey. So when you wake up, that's what you're waking up to, who you were meant to be when you grow up who you're meant to be through your spiritual and emotional maturity, right? And that is a repetitive message, okay? Amazing new ideas that should be implemented, okay? In your communication, for your communication, and for you to be doing that accurately, right? Meaning, you got to know your stuff. And not just know your stuff. You got to live your stuff. Okay? You got to live your beliefs. You've got to live your faiths. Okay? In order for it to... In order for you to evolve. In order for you to thrive. All right, and you'll know what that is through your passions. Where your passion is, that tells you right there, that's your purpose. That's a purpose. We have many, but that's your purpose. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and pull for healing. I'm going to use more of the planet's resources for our, our healing. 
Okay, and I'm going to pull a couple of cards from the Crystal Angels. All right, Angels, what, what is your message for Scorpio? How are we going to help Scorpio to, whoo, there you go, to, to heal? Topaz. Repetitive message. Forgiveness heals. So it's time to release repressed anger because it's blocking your health and happiness. Okay, I call it health and wealth. It is blocking your health and wealth. And you use topaz, right? Yellow topaz right here. You use this for, um, for because, you know, the color yellow is also corresponding to your... Um, solar plexus chakra that is your I am I remember that little exercise earlier that is your I am energy center who are you and why that is one of the biggest part of figuring out your your life purpose figuring out what you're meant here to do right and it's all in practice because you can walk around all day I don't know what my passion is I don't know what my purpose is I don't know what I'm here for right besides having a good time well okay but everything here is an action and reaction everything here I believe that is the third law Newton's law of, of uh, physics that everything has, everything in action has a reaction, right? So you've got to uh, be mindful. Be mindful, all right? No one gets away from anything because that's the way it is. It's the law of the universe. It's the law of energy, okay? And you are energy. You're energy. So again, topaz. And this is in pink because of, you know, it's heart chakra. It's heart chakra time. It is where your self-love and your self-worth is that is going to bring to you this healing and this forgiveness and the release, right, of your past life, the release of repressed anger. Why? Repressed anger, I'm hearing right now, is having to do with a feeling of abandonment and separation. Okay? And that is not the, you know, the separation of our, you know, of our 3D through our social conditioning, right, makes us codependent on one another. When in actuality, the abandonment is coming from the separation between you and your soul source creator, knowing the truth there, okay? Knowing the truth about you being a star seed, knowing the truth about your purpose here in this human experience. Right? Knowing when it is time to relieve yourself of that role that you were here meant to play so that you can teach it. Okay? And build that bridge to unity consciousness. That's your purpose. But it's your social conditioning that cuts you away from that and makes you needy. When all you need is your health and wealth through your inner knowledge, okay? From your soul source, from your guides, from your ancestors, from your ascended masters, from your supportive angels. And it will always take you back to connecting to the planet, right? And healing that bridge between you and the planet. 
Mother Earth, Gaia, and the elements. Okay? You are part of something greater and grander. Your energy, your, your soul source, creates other worlds. Other worlds. So stop selling yourself short. You're meant for greater things. So stop worrying about that ex. Stop worrying about what your mama said. Okay? That's petty. Move forward. And be great and grand. Like you were made to be. So, all right. You like to have a spirit session, a private session. That's what we call it, spirit session. Please visit us on our website, Twin Flame Mystique 1111. And, uh, you know, Tanya and I, and Twin Flame, we would love to work with you. And, uh, and work in our passion through our faith building that bridge with you. All right? All right. I'll let you go and have a blessed and beautiful day wherever you are on this magnificent planet.